Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing another book review, and this is on Dorothy Must Die by Daniela Page. Daniel? Daniel? Daniel Page, sorry. Um, so this story takes place after the events that we see in The Wizard of Oz. So Dorothy has been there, you know, she's met the Tinsman, the Scarecrow, the Lion, there's Glinda, you know, she threw water on the Wicked Witch and all that, and then comes back home. In this particular series, Dorothy comes back to Oz and takes over Oz and becomes, like, their queen, or no, their princess is what they they call her um and she's pretty much a dictator in this series in a way like she will kill somebody for using magic she will she's actually pretty much destroying Oz to because she wants to drain its magic for her own self you know to keep her young and beautiful and all these things um the scarecrow in this book experiments on people really crazy and then in this particular book um someone was painting her nails like a maid and dropped one little tiny drop of nail polish on the floor had to carry a dead rat in her pocket for like ever no for like three weeks or something like that it was crazy like just for one tiny drop on the carpet that's what dorothy's done like, Dorothy is crazy in this book. Like, she's really evil. And, you know, so in this book, it's the opposite. So the people we thought were good in when we watched The Wizard of Oz are evil. Like, Dorothy and Glinda and the Scarecrow and the Tinsman and the Lion. They're evil. And the Wicked Witches are the good ones. So... Um, in this story, a girl named Amy Gum, who is also from Kansas, um, has been recruited by the Revolutionary Order of the Wicked. So, the Wicked Witches are banding together to fight against Dorothy, and they've called Amy to come and join them because they think Amy will be capable of destroying Dorothy. Uh, I really like this book because much like Unhooked, if you remember that review, in that one, Peter Pan was a villain, right? I really enjoy when they take heroes on the story like Dorothy. Dorothy is often the hero of Oz and they make her into a villain. I think that's really fun. It also makes these books worth reading because I feel like if you're just reading story where oh Dorothy's the the good person and the wicked witch is evil then these stories to me are worth reading and I, I really enjoyed this particular book in Oz it's one of the first ones I've read actually I haven't read I've seen the musical Wicked um, but I haven't read the books for Wicked I know they're really good and I know the first book that the musical is based on is very different uh, but those are different because than this because that's like an origin story for the Wicked Witch in a way. This takes place after the Oz books um, or movie, whichever you've seen. So this is a little different. It's not necessarily an origin story for Dorothy or the Wicked Witch. It's more about what happens when... Dorothy comes back to Oz type of thing and um, in this Dorothy becomes a villain so I think that's really cool I, I like the way they did the cover here it's really nice I really like the character of Amy Gun, Gum excuse me um, I think she's an interesting character I feel like she is flawed and I really like that. I like that she's not perfect. I like that 
she struggles to learn magic and it's not something that comes super easily to her. Um, speaking of Amy, she actually really reminded me of the character Emma Swan in Once Upon a Time. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I really liked her. Um, she's not exactly like Emma, um, but she reminds me of Emma in a lot of ways. And she's still very unique in her own character, but I really liked I think that's why I was drawn to her, to be honest. Um, is this in first person? It is in first person, so you're directly in her head. Uh, in this story, or in this book at least, there's a hint that a romance is kind of blossoming between... What is his name? Amy and... Let me... somebody... what's was his name? What was your name? You were a guy, and your name was not Maud. Your name was I think it started with an N. I forgot. Oh my god. I read this book a while back, to be honest. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, the lines even very terrifying. You remember how like adorable the lion is in the movie? The lines pretty scary in this book. Knox, that's his name, Knox. Um, finishing the thought on the line, he's terrified in this book. He like sucks out the courage somehow, people, and they're like big and, you know, muscly now, apparently. I was like, what did Dorothy do to that poor lion? Like, oh my god. And like, oh, the woodsman, he's got like a creepy army of people that this scarecrow has turned into like half machine like things for him really terrifying what these three beloved characters have become in this book like they're scary um which is really cool because it makes the story really unique and like i said worth reading and i mean if they were the same people that we saw in the movie i, I might as well just watch the movie right or read the original novels by uh what is it L. Frank Baum, I think that's the name of the author, I should know. I had one of the books. Where's your, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she, L. Frank Baum, that's it, I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, Knox is the name of the guy that Amy has a potential romance with. I think probably in the later books it'll be explored more. Uh, I do have the second one. Uh, actually, I have a thing. I'm gonna have to say this. I actually get around these books, not because I don't like them. I really like this book and I really like this. I'm really excited to read the same book. My friend was like, I need books for my classroom. So I'm like, I got your back. So um, I'm gonna have to maybe for my birthday, pick up another copy of this series or at least the first two books and then maybe get the rest on there. We'll see what happens. Um, but I, I have so many books I gotta get through anyway, so. It's all good. <laughs> Anyways, so I like this romance with them. I feel a connection between them. Um, by the way, I did mention she reminds me of Emma Swan. I do feel a little hook in this Knox guy, just a little bit, tiny smidge. Um, which maybe that's, I don't know, maybe I have like a ship type, you know what I'm saying? Like. I like shipping people together <laughs> that remind me of Captain Swan apparently. I don't know. Whatever. Alright? It works. It makes... I like it. I enjoy it. That's what matters, right? If you don't, you probably won't like this book. I don't know. But... Oh, another twist. Did, in this book, the tin, the tin woodsman, tin woodman, tin woodman, I like to call him the Tinsman. Isn't that how he's called in the movie? I haven't watched the movie in a long time. I'm just going to call him the Tinsman. It's a little easier for me to say. So the Tinsman in this book, he's in love with Dorothy. That's so weird. <laughs> and I kind of feel sorry for him though. I mean, you know he's kind of creepy in this book. Just because Dorothy's horrible to him. Like she's straight up horrible to him. Like, and I feel like she knows he has feelings for her and is never gonna acknowledge them and is just gonna keep manipulating him and using him. So I'm just like, 
the poor guy. Where you been? This, I mean, Dorothy is bad in this movie. Like, she is terrible. She's evil. It's like, but it's wonderful too at the same time. It's so good. I don't think it, I'm not giving a lot of the plot away. Um, and because a majority of this book is spent training Amy with, in magic, and by the end of the book, they, Dorothy's having like this big ball type of thing. I forgot what she's celebrating. She's probably celebrating herself. Um, and that's where the Order of the Wicked and Amy are gonna try and actually kill Dorothy. And unfortunately, the wizard, remember the wizard in the movie? So he comes back too, and he actually learns how to use magic. Um, I forgot how he learned how to use magic. I think one of the witches taught him how to use magic, and so now he can actually use magic. He's a real wizard now. And he has discovered that, well, you can't just kill Dorothy. That's not going to work. So, actually, on the book it explains on the back what Amy has to do. It says, remove the tin wood men's heart. Steal the scarecrow's brain, take the lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. So she's got to get through these guys first before she can actually truly kill Dorothy. Um, which I have a feeling a majority of those things will happen in the sequels. And then in the very last book, Dorothy will die. But this book sets up the world, sets up that particular plot really well, and also sets up the character of Amy Gum really well as so if you haven't read Dorothy Must Die you should it's really good I know the title might throw you off it took me a really long time to actually pick up this book to be honest but now that I've read it I actually give it like an A plus it's so good you should check it out it's Dorothy Must Die and that's all I have to say see you next time guys